Welcome, Matt. So good to meet you. And um, I'm wondering if you could tell me what your great passion is in the fintech domain and um, what drew you to be involved in this domain? Uh, well, great to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, really, I've always been an infrastructure geek, dating back to childhood, uh, understanding the basics of how things work, how things connect, uh, when they should connect, when they shouldn't connect. Uh, it's always been a passion of mine. Uh, over the years, that's led to a heavy emphasis from an operator's perspective and as an investor in enterprise and industrial infrastructure. Uh, security being a significant component of that over the last 15 years. Uh, it's entertaining now that it's trendy. I never considered security hip, cool, or trendy in the past, but certainly uh, there, there are a lot of challenges that have to be addressed, and where there are challenges, there are dollars. Where there are dollars, there are marketeers. So, so um the next question I was going to ask you is uh, where are we at the moment with security and where do we need to go and, and what needs to happen for us to get there? Sure. Well, it's a bit of an arms race. Always has been and, in my opinion, always will be. Um, and that's both good and bad for the companies that are selling next generation solutions. It's wonderful. Uh, but it also means that they have to keep pace with what the, you know, the bad guys are up to. Uh, where we are right now is is really, you know, pregame. We're not even in the first inning as far as, you know, how enterprises adopt improved security protocols, procedures, and technologies. And I saw a report recently that estimated, you know, roughly eight times the security operations center staff uh, of today are, are required in order to take care of demand, um, and. You know, that, that speaks to a, a couple of trends which I like to think I'm investing against. Uh, you know, number one is new technologies and products in the security world, whether it's fintech or anything else, they need to be extremely easy to use and install. Um, you know, a, a chief information security officer once told me, I will never procure a new product unless it eliminates two other products and frees up two people who are working in my security operations center. And I think that sort of mindset is useful as companies think about how they design products, how they develop their user interfaces, how they think about their user experiences, and how they think about deployment. Um, so. It's a good lit litmus test, actually, for anything to, around security, really, isn't it? And um, where do you think we'll we need to be like what's the big picture because you're the big picture person right as an investor well I, I think ultimately we need to get to a world where we're thinking less about security point solutions and more about a secure network fabric and when you look at the world of software defined networking and how that's replacing a lot of the the legacy cisco juniper uh, etc type products with the ability to define hardware functionality through software, I think what we'll see over the next you know, five to 10 years is the security capabilities being built into the networking protocols. Uh, of course, that'll create a counter move by the bad guys and we'll have this wonderful, uh, <laughs> yes, it, you know, and that will continue and that's okay. But the more that we can integrate security into the design and architecture of infrastructure as opposed to bolting it onto uh, products that weren't designed with security in mind. I, I think that helps us get to a better place. That's a nice picture, actually. Thanks for that. And um, I'm really looking forward to this panel. I think it'll be really interesting. It's so timely, really, isn't it? So thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me. Looking forward to the panel.